Today I'm going to talk about helmets because it's something that's always on top of my head. Now I'm no certified expert when it comes to helmets but I have been riding motorcycles for over 20 years, riding them, reviewing them and in that time I have worn all sorts of helmets. All types, all genres, various makes, various safety ratings and I've also managed to crash in a few. So. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is like a buying guide to helmets but essentially as, as I perceive it with my experience. So you may agree or disagree but whatever just comment let me know. So let's start with the lightest most affordable one and that is an open face helmet. Now this is my Arai. And the pros for this helmet are, of course, that it's light in weight, you have great visibility uh, up front, peripheral, and you can look down and button your shirt with the helmet on. Let me show you. Right, so, uh, like I said, great visibility everywhere, even when you're looking straight, you can see everywhere, it's light in weight. Um, it's uh, great when you want to go for short distances, when you want to, uh, when you're using a scooter and you want to stow it away under the seat, this helmet really works, right? Uh, lots of ventilation too, so great on a hot summer day. I use it essentially for scooter rides, anything that uh, I'm riding under 60 kilometers per hour or just uh, going for the grocery run to, you know, to get eggs, bread, whatever. So this helmet works. Now the cons of course uh, are that uh, you don't have enough protection especially for your jaw. Uh, if you happen to crash in this and hit your jaw you'll, it's an expensive and painful uh, you know uh, restructuring of all of that that will happen. You also have no uh, protection from the wind in that sense or for your eyes so it gets noisy and if you're falling something and some pebble comes your way well there's nothing uh, that this helmet will do to save you. You can of course go for industrial goggles and wear them or you could wear uh, the dirt goggles on them but with the helmet it doesn't come in so yeah. So that's your open face helmet for you. So next up we've got the street slash track helmet. Now this is the Shoei X14. Uh, this is a helmet or at least the type that I'm referring to which is street slash track is your do everything sort of a helmet. Now this is the sort of helmet that most of us end up buying and using. Uh, this can be your primary helmet, this can be your only helmet unlike the open face one that uh, we spoke about uh, a few seconds earlier. Uh, that cannot honestly be your primary helmet, that can be your secondary helmet, something to you know. Uh, use for short distances. This one, however, you can use uh, on everything. You can use it on a scooter, you can use it for your grocery run, you could use it for touring, um, uh, on the track of course and for commuting and I've also used this particular helmet uh, riding dirt. So uh, all you gotta do is just open it and there's you know enough uh, air coming in. So quickly to uh, run you through the pros lots of protection especially around the jaw which you don't get with the open face helmet uh, you've got a visor which shuts really nicely clean so there's very little uh, wind blast or absolutely no wind blast coming in so lots of wind protection again with this no stones i mean if the stones are pelted through and i've got a few here uh, it doesn't come through right so so that's good protection and uh, like I said, it's versatile, so you can use it uh, on any motorcycle and for most sort of riding. The cons, it is a little heavy. Uh, I don't know if you could see, but every time I hold it, it drops, unlike the open face helmet, of course. Uh, you have lighter versions. Uh, this is a little uh, on the heavier side, but uh, more or less, it's not exactly these uh, street slash track helmets are not exactly very light. Uh, you also have restricted visibility, especially if you want to button down your shirt to do something or so because of this jaw. And uh, they're not very easy to stow away. So chances are that you'd be carrying them, uh, you know, uh, most times, uh, whether you're riding a scooter or you've got uh, uh, a bag or whatever. Uh, the open face I can also put in my uh, backpack somehow. So yeah, uh, but this is a very versatile sort of uh, a helmet, the street slash track, and you can use it everywhere. So uh, 
this would be your primary helmet if you are looking to buy just one. Third on the list is the dirt helmet. Now, it has its pros. Pros would be lightweight, great visibility. Uh, with without the goggles, you also have great peripheral visibility. Not so much with the goggles on; uh, they're pretty thick on the side. But lovely visibility up front, uh, light and weight, lots of uh, wind and air coming in, so great breathability, and that's why you see this jaw. It allows you to breathe a lot better. Also protection. Uh, so scores high on that and uh, since you're going to be riding dirt you got a peak so some amount of roost protection uh, the cons of course are that you cannot really use it anywhere apart from dirt uh, i mean there's a lot of airflow so it gets very noisy also uh, this catches a lot of wind so if you happen to look up for some reason and you're doing three digit speeds or even close to 100 it will pull you back even when you look on to the left it tends to catch wind which is not comfortable like i said it's also noisy and um, i would use it essentially on dirt or possibly maybe if i have a really short um, commute to the dirt uh, track but uh, i wouldn't use it for everyday commute i wouldn't uh, use it for touring at all especially with these goggles which you'll need to protect your eyes like i said the peripheral vision goes for a six yeah now fourth in line is the adv helmet so i don't have one now i have owned one in the past uh, but i don't look forward to owning one um, in the future uh, or at least unless um, you know like some uh, adventure outings or schools or, or events require you to wear an ADV helmet but that's the only time I'd probably get it because uh, it is a more uh, road friendly version of this um, it is not as aggressive it's more comfortable it is as a result heavier and you have a lot of uh, you have a complete visor here so there is protection you can of course remove it and put goggles the downsides of this helmet remain on the ADV helmet as well so it does catch wind and I like I said it's heavy and it's not really desirable and it's very focused it just is used for one thing just like this so if you happen to ride a scooter with an ADV helmet it doesn't work if you happen to ride um, you know like a, a, a classic or a, or a vintage or a, or a retro classic whatever uh, or even one of the street bikes it just it just looks a little odd so um, it's not a helmet that you would want as your primary helmet it's a helmet that you can have if you have an ADV it makes sense and again it's probably for ADVs with good wind protection so if you ride a Himalayan or possibly a X-Pulse or even the BMW um, a G310 GS uh, it's it's uh, not a helmet that I would personally go for but maybe if I had one of those big ones with huge windscreens that protects me sure it might work but it's not a helmet that I'd go for yeah and finally we have the modular now I don't have a modular helmet um, I have owned one like the ADV and uh, it has its pluses it is um, for instance like a street helmet but it's got hinges here so you can uh, lift the jaw uh, so it becomes um, like a like an open face helmet so it's uh, convenient it's airy uh, you can use it for short commutes so all those good pluses and then when you shut it it's it's like a street helmet so there's protection against the wind there's protection against stones being flung at you and uh, there's jaw protection yeah and uh, uh, it isn't as noisy as an open face helmet so again uh, lots of positives there it is probably um, like a jack of all uh, trades sort of a helmet but master of none like the ADV helmet uh, you won't it's not really a desirable helmet that you'd uh, uh, I mean it's not something that you would really want uh, something like a race replica for instance but uh, it works uh, I have used it and the reason uh, why I stopped using it uh, and one of the cons is of course that it's heavy and the other con is something like I said earlier it's not something that you'd want or look at or aspire to have but it's convenient so I mean and flexible so in that sense it's if you were to buy one helmet for a lot of different sort of riding purposes then maybe that would work but these work equally well 
yeah so those are your uh, or my uh, those are my uh, five uh, genres of types of helmets that i have used and i would say uh, one can go for um, i hope this buying guide or, or whatever if you would like to call it is helpful and uh, one last thing most helmets that i buy or almost every helmet i choose the d-ring uh, you have a ratchet system as the other option but this is just something that i've grown to like uh, and uh, i prefer again there's no right or wrong whether this or the ratchet you can go for whatever but this is something i like i go for and so that's why Again, thank you for watching and uh, if you agree, disagree, you want to comment something, ask me something, please go ahead and ask. Thank you.